It may look like he's going nowhere fast, but this cyclist is trying to get voices heard, not cover distance. It's a DC motor running backwards, so it puts out power instead of taking in power. It's a green way of getting voices heard at a rally protesting the decision to not involve Green Party leader Elizabeth May in the televised federal election debates. I'm very grateful to our bicycle powered microphone because as you can tell, this fresh new voice is not sounding so very fresh or so very new. Even though her vocal cords were a little worse for wear, the message was loud and clear. So I'm afraid I'm not impressed with the other leaders' commitment to democracy. I'm not commit, impressed with the consortium's willingness to be capricious and arbitrary in their decision making. In the 2008 election, the Green Party garnered almost a million votes and has gained significant support since. So why then is Elizabeth May not included in televised debate? Well, the networks involved say it's because the Green Party doesn't hold a seat in Parliament. But May and her supporters feel that it's not just about seats, but more so an undemocratic decision that serves the interests of the broadcasters involved and not that of the Canadian people. Here, here we have uh, a consortium of uh, broadcasters deciding uh, how, how elections should be run, right? Or how, uh, how election debates should be run. It's very, very undemocratic. This decision by the consortium is against the public interest. It actually leaves Canadians who are not engaged even less engaged. The largest proportion of the Canadian public that supports the Green Party are young. And this decision, of course, will further disengage young people from the political process. With all the support from Canadians young and old, perhaps May will get a chance to have her voice heard after all. And who knows, maybe they'll even let her bring along her bike-powered mic. Ellie Short in Vancouver for BCIT Magazine.